History remembers them as shadows, whispers of figures who dared to defy the rigid confines of their time. In feudal Japan, a land of emperors and shoguns, where the katana was king and the samurai its loyal servant, women were often relegated to the background. But not Tomo Gozen. She was a rare flower pushing through the cracks of a battlefield, a warrior who not only stood beside men but often surpassed them. We know very little about Tomo's early life, and much of what we think we know is shrouded in myth and legend. But the impact she made, the legend she carved for herself with the edge of her blade, that much is undeniable. She was an Onamusha, a female samurai, and her name resonated on the lips of those who spoke of courage and skill in equal measure. This is her story. The world into which Tomo was born was a tumultuous one. Imagine, if you will, Japan in the throes of the Genpei War, a brutal conflict that pitted brother against brother, clan against clan, in a ruthless struggle for power. The year was 1156, and the air was thick with the smell of salt from the sea and the smoke of distant battles. We don't know the exact circumstances of Tomo's birth, but we know she was born into this volatile world, a world where survival was often determined by the strength of one's sword arm. Some whisper that she was a noblewoman, born into a family with ties to the Minamoto clan, while others claim she was the daughter of a humble swordsmith. Her cradle rocked to the rhythmic clang of the forge. Regardless of her origins, one thing is clear. Tomo was no ordinary girl. From a young age, she displayed an affinity for the martial arts, her spirit as fiery as the rising sun. Perhaps she was drawn to the clang of steel, the whisper of silk against armor, the intoxicating allure of a life lived on the edge of a blade. Whatever the reason, Tomo refused to be confined by the expectations of her gender. She trained in secret, honing her skills in the dead of night, her movements as fluid and deadly as a viper. History, like a fickle dance partner, often forgets the steps of those who don't lead. Much of Tomo's early life is lost to the mists of time, but it's safe to assume that her skills did not go unnoticed for long. In a world where strength was prized above all else, she quickly rose through the ranks. She caught the eye of Minamoto no Yoshinaka, a powerful warlord known for his ferocity and military prowess. He saw in Tomo a kindred spirit, a warrior who could match his own strength and determination. He took her under his wing, becoming her mentor, her battle companion, some even whisper, her lover. Tomo, with her flowing black hair and piercing gaze, became a formidable warrior, as comfortable on horseback as she was on foot. She rode into battle with the grace of a dancer and the fury of a storm, her bow singing a deadly song, her katana reaping a bloody harvest. Her name began to spread like wildfire across the land, whispered in hushed tones by awestruck peasants and seasoned warriors alike. Tales of her exploits on the battlefield became the stuff of legends, inspiring both fear and admiration in equal measure. The Genpei War raged on, a tempestuous storm that threatened to consume all of Japan. Tomo, now a seasoned warrior, found herself at the heart of the conflict. She fought with unwavering loyalty to Minamoto no Yoshinaka, her blade flashing like lightning in the heat of battle. One battle in particular cemented her place in the annals of history, the Battle of Yokotagawa in 1184. It was a clash of titans, a maelstrom of steel and fury. Picture the scene, thousands of warriors locked in a desperate struggle, the air thick with the stench of sweat, blood, and death. Amidst the chaos, Tomo was a whirlwind of destruction. She rode into the enemy ranks, her naginata, a fearsome weapon with a curved blade at the end of a long shaft, cutting a swath through the enemy lines. She was said to have fought with the strength of ten men, her every strike precise and deadly. The enemy, taken aback by her ferocity, began to whisper that she was no mere woman, but a demon, a vengeful spirit given form. Her reputation as a warrior without equal grew with every fallen foe. Victory like a fleeting sunset is often followed by the encroaching darkness of defeat. Despite Tomo's valor, the tide of war began to turn against Minamoto no Yoshinaka. His enemies, sensing an opportunity, closed in, their forces like a noose tightening around his neck. At the Battle of Awazu in 1184, Yoshinaka, betrayed by one of his own, found himself facing insurmountable odds. He knew his end was near, but he refused to go down without a fight. He turned to Tomoe, his most trusted warrior, his eyes filled with a mixture of admiration and despair. He ordered her to flee, 
to escape the carnage and live to fight another day. He knew that for a woman, capture meant a fate worse than death. Tomo, torn between her loyalty to her lord and her own survival, hesitated. Her hand trembled on the hilt of her sword, her heart heavy with the weight of his request. But Yoshinaka insisted, his voice hoarse but firm. He reminded her that she was the last of his loyal retainers, that the future of the Minamoto clan rested on her shoulders. With a heavy heart, Tomo made a solemn vow to honor his memory and carry on his legacy. And then, just as suddenly as she had blazed across the canvas of history, Tomo Gozen vanished. The historical record, fragmented and incomplete, offers no definitive answers about her fate. Did she obey her lord's final command and flee the battlefield, or did she choose to die a warrior's death, her katana singing a final mournful song? Some accounts claim that she did indeed escape, disappearing into the anonymity of the countryside. They say she wandered the land, a solitary figure haunted by the memories of war, her skills as sharp as ever, but her spirit dulled by grief. Others whisper that she found solace in a remote mountain temple, trading her armor for the simple robes of a nun. They say she dedicated the rest of her days to prayer and meditation, seeking atonement for the lives she had taken. Still others believe that she never truly left the field of battle. They say she became a wandering mercenary, selling her sword to the highest bidder, her legend growing with each passing year. How do we separate fact from fiction when it comes to a figure as shrouded in legend as Tomoe Gozen? The primary source for her story, and indeed for much of the history of the Genpei War, is the Heike Monogatari, or the Tale of the Heike. This epic war chronicle written in the 14th century is a masterpiece of Japanese literature, but it's important to remember that it blends historical fact with literary embellishment. The authors, likely monks seeking to entertain as well as inform, often exaggerated the exploits of their heroes and villains. Tomo Gozen, with her beauty, her skill, and her unwavering loyalty, was the perfect subject for such embellishments. The Heike Monogatari describes her as especially beautiful, with white skin, long black hair, and charming features. She was also a remarkably strong archer, and as a swordswoman she was a warrior worth a thousand, ready to confront a demon or a god, mounted or on foot. While we should approach such glowing descriptions with a healthy dose of skepticism, there's no doubt that Tomo made a profound impact on those who witnessed her exploits firsthand. Centuries have passed since Tomoe Gozen rode into battle, but her story continues to resonate, her legend echoing through the corridors of time. She has transcended the confines of history to become a cultural icon, a symbol of female strength and empowerment. In Japan, she is revered as a folk hero, her story passed down through generations. She is often depicted in traditional woodblock prints, kabuki plays, and even manga and anime, her image gracing everything from teacups to tattoos. Her story serves as a reminder that courage and determination know no gender, that even in the most patriarchal of societies, women can rise to meet any challenge. Her influence extends far beyond the shores of Japan. In the West, her story has inspired countless books, films, and video games, introducing her legend to a whole new audience. She has become a global icon, a symbol of the indomitable human spirit. Tomo Gozen was not the only woman in history to defy societal expectations and take up arms. Throughout the ages, women have proven time and again that they are just as capable as men when it comes to courage, strength, and tactical brilliance. From the legendary Amazons of Greek mythology to the fierce Celtic warrior Queen Boudicca, from Joan of Arc, the Maid of Orléans, who led the French army to victory, to the Vietnamese warrior sisters, Trung Trac and Trung Ni, history is replete with examples of women who refused to be defined by their gender. Each of these women faced unique challenges and left their own indelible mark on history. But what unites them with Tomogozen is their unwavering spirit their refusal to conform to the narrow roles society sought to impose upon them. They are all sisters in arms, their stories woven together in the grand tapestry of human history, a testament to the boundless potential that resides within us all. As we draw the curtain on our exploration of Tomoe Gozen's life, we are left with more questions than answers. Did she survive the Genpei War? Did she find peace and anonymity? or did she continue to fight for what she believed in? The historical record is silent, but perhaps that is part of what makes her story so enduring. 
In the absence of definitive answers we are free to imagine to fill in the blanks with our own interpretations, to see in her a reflection of our own hopes and aspirations. Tomo Gozen's story is ultimately a story of resilience, of courage, of the unwavering pursuit of one's dreams, regardless of the obstacles that stand in the way. It is a story that transcends time and culture, speaking to something deep within the human spirit, in a world where we are so often told to fit in, to conform, to follow the well-trodden path, Tomo Gozen's life serves as a powerful reminder that we are capable of so much more. Her legacy is a beacon, urging us to embrace our own individuality, to challenge the status quo and to never give up on our dreams. What do you think happened to Tomoe Gozen after the Genpei War? Share your theories and let's discuss in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this deep dive into the life of this remarkable warrior woman, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos exploring the hidden corners of history. If you're hungry for more stories of incredible women who defied the odds, check out my playlist on powerful women in history. You'll meet fearless leaders, brilliant scientists, groundbreaking artists, and so much more. Until next time, stay curious, my friends, and never stop exploring the fascinating tapestry of human history.